Disneyland workers may strike, wealth inequality in America, and Elon Musk donates $100,000. Today, I read an article on CNN Business written by Natasha Chen titled, Thousands of Disneyland workers are expected to authorize a potential strike. It would be the first in 40 years. The author of this article referenced a woman who cleans and waxes the floors at the Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle, who also works two other jobs, but still needs to live in her car because it's not enough money. 9,500 Disneyland workers met on Friday to vote on a possible strike. The author said the union leadership would decide whether or not to hold a strike if the vote passes. This would be the first strike at Disney's original resort in 40 years. Here are my thoughts. This is one more example of how the cost of living in America is impacting everyday hardworking people. Wages are not keeping pace with the cost of living. Many people are over it. They can't go on the way they are living. Some aren't even living. They are just surviving. No one should have to work multiple jobs and still live in a car. This is cruelty in my opinion. All of this while we have a billionaire class that continues to get wealthier every day. They gobble up stock, land, and other assets. The gap between the super wealthy and everyone else continues to widen. We certainly are living in a new gilded age. I wish the workers at Disneyland the best as they try to figure out their future. This next story relates to the topic of billionaires with extreme wealth. I read this on foxbusiness.com, written by Aislinn Murphy, titled, Laureen Powell Jobs reportedly snags San Francisco property in record $70 million deal. According to the author, the widow of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs recently completed the purchase of a home in the Pacific Heights neighborhood that cost her $70 million. This beat the record home price of $43.5 million in that city. Here are my thoughts. This woman has been spending a lot of money on real estate lately. I previously read that she spent $94 million this year to buy a fourth Malibu estate, which brings the total amount spent in Malibu to $174 million. I hope she enjoys all of her properties. To me, this would be a big headache with a lot of overhead. Even if you have a great estate management team in place, they are still going to contact you about problems and decisions that you need to make. Some authors of articles refer to her as a philanthropist. I'm unfamiliar with her philanthropy, but I'd encourage her to scale back the lavish real estate purchases and spend some of that money to help more people in America who are struggling financially. Maybe she could help some of the Disneyland employees, such as the person living in her car. Maybe she could even employ this woman at one of her mansions, since it sounds like she does a great job taking care of the floor in the Disneyland Sleeping Beauty Castle. Lorene Powell Jobs could give this woman a higher paying job and provide her with a room to sleep in at one of her mansions. I'm sure all of the mansion bedrooms are not used all the time. On the topic of billionaires, I read today that Elon Musk gave $100,000 to the family of the firefighter who was killed at the Trump rally. Now you might think that is impressive, but there was someone else who gave more money. I read an article on foxbusiness.com written by Breck Dumas titled, Trump donor who gave $1 million to family of firefighter killed at rally is Florida attorney. The author of this article said a Florida attorney named Dan Newland gave $1 million to the family of the man killed at the Trump rally. The author referenced Donald Trump as saying, the GoFundMe page raised $6.3 million for the family of the man who is deceased and those critically injured. Here are my thoughts. It is wonderful that people have donated to help these families. I don't know their financial situations, but I am sure the money will be helpful during this period of high inflation. While I admire Elon Musk for donating $100,000, I would have given more if I had his financial resources. That is like a normal person putting a few pennies in the container on the counter at the gas station. Come on, Elon Musk. If an attorney can give a million dollars, so can you. 
In fact, give two or three million dollars. That's just my opinion though. I checked out the GoFundMe page at the time of recording this video, and it was at $6,470,573. What do you think about the money that's been donated so far? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. On the topic of Donald Trump, I read an article on foxbusiness.com written by Breck Dumas titled, Trump says UAW president should be fired immediately. The author referenced Donald Trump's speech at the Republican National Convention, where he said the UAW president, Sean Fain, should be fired immediately. Trump said, and I'll quote, right now, as we speak, large factories just started, are being built across the border in Mexico. So, with all of the other things happening on our border, and they're being built by China to make cars and sell them into our country, no tax, no anything. The United Auto Workers ought to be ashamed for allowing this to happen. And the leader of the United Auto Workers should be fired immediately. And every single auto worker, union and non-union, should be voting for Donald Trump because we're going to bring back car manufacturing and we're gonna bring it back fast. Here are my thoughts. I uploaded a video in the past where I talked about how Chinese vehicles could be a problem in the future. They are already in Europe and some of these cars have impressive specs for a decent price. Look at what Chinese manufacturers are doing with smartphones. The Xiaomi smartphones have more impressive specs than iPhones and they cost less money. Look at the top Xiaomi model and compare the specs with the top iPhone model and you will see what I'm talking about. There is really no comparison. Now, some Apple fans will say the quality doesn't compare. Maybe there is some truth to that. I really don't know. I've never owned a Xiaomi phone, so I really can't say. I just know they are innovating at a fierce pace and what they are manufacturing looks pretty impressive to me. On the topic of Sean Fain, I've listened to some of the speeches that he's given in the past and I thought he did a good job. I was really impressed with his public speaking abilities and some of what he talked about resonated with me. In terms of car manufacturing in America, I agree with Donald Trump that we need to bring it back. If he is elected president, I hope he can change some trade agreements to incentivize American auto manufacturing moving forward. With that said, companies need to manufacture quality vehicles that are going to last and style them so people want to buy them. These companies also need to pay livable wages and offer full-time employment with good benefits. But that's just what I think. What do I know? I'm just some guy on YouTube. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Please keep in mind that everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only, and nothing in this video is financial advice or advice of any kind. If you need advice, seek advice from a qualified professional in good standing who puts your interests first and foremost. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Please also consider sharing this video with your friends. I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to also thank all of my channel members. If you would like to become a channel member, there is a link in the description beneath this video. You can read more about the different membership levels. Please also check out some of the great books that I suggest you consider reading in the description below. I've included Amazon affiliate links to these books. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Stay healthy and wealthy. I'll see everyone in the next video.